Hi, Lucha here. In this video, we'll perform a low flow analysis and get a low flow report. After modeling the single line diagram in ETAB, we are ready to perform an electrical analysis. So, what's the purpose of performing a low flow study? We are interested in obtaining bus voltage magnitudes and angles for the specified loads. We want to know power flow quantities such as real power and reactive power. Also, we want to know the voltage draw values to determine if we are within the parameters recommended by IEEE. I've updated a single line diagram from the last video with the cable information. Let's get started and click the low flow mode button. First, we noticed that the buttons at the right hand side of the canvas have changed and the new toolbar has appeared at the top right hand side of the screen. Let's briefly discuss the three buttons on the ribbon. The briefcase is the study case. We can set different parameters we want to use while performing system analysis. The next button is the list of output reports. If we click this button, we can select previously run output reports. The next button is the report manager. We can select to display particular contents of the current output file. From the right hand side, I'll only talk about two buttons, the run load flow and the report manager. So let's click the briefcase button. The ID tab comes up. Starting from the left, we see the study case ID. We can give our study case a particular name to distinguish it from other cases. The report section, we can select units for the values we want to see in our report. KV for radio voltage, percent for operating voltage, and KVA for power. The update box, you may decide that you want to have the software update initial conditions values. Top right, we have the numerical methods used to solve complex equations. I will leave it on the adaptive neutral rate method. For more complex systems, you may choose to use the fast decouple method. The max operations and precision I leave as default. The options I leave as bus initial voltages. Next, we'll click on the loading tab. If you've selected different loading categories for your equipment, you may choose to analyze different scenarios, but I'll leave default. Next, we have the adjustment tab. You may choose to use initial tolerances or global tolerances, as I did in my example. Next, we have the alerts tab. On this menu, you may set alerts for your equipment. You may choose to select Auto Display option, which will pop up the Alerts box if you have an alert. So let's click the OK button and run a low flow. What did we find? In this example, number one, we found the VFD is red and we got an alert. The condition is overloaded. That means that the VFD is undersized. So, let's increase the size of the VFD from 1000 horsepower to 1250 horsepower. Click OK and we will run the low flow again. So now let's look at the story report. First click the report manager and now we click the complete report and I'm going to click PDF. Click OK. At the top of the report shows us what options we've selected for our low flow analysis. Loading category normal, generation category normal, and for load diversity we didn't select anything. In this report there are several sections. One important section is the load flow report which shows how the power flows through the electrical system. In this video, I've shown you how to perform a low flow analysis and how to adjust any parameters for undersized equipment. Also, I've shown you how to create a PDF file of the low flow report generated by ETAP. If you found this video helpful, write me in the comments below and give me a thumbs up. You may go to my website, ipa-epc.com, to download any sample single line diagrams 
and printouts which I've used in this video. Again, thanks for watching.